everybody, it's Goody Parade and I'm here with a bunch of creepy, spooky toys. I've got some new Monster High dolls, I've got a Zelf and a little Plip doll, some uh, creepy Happy Meals, some grab bags, Lego minifigures, they're all a little creepy, so just beware. Okay, where should we start? Let's start with this Lego minifigure. Now mind you, we don't really know what's in here. But I have a friend that can feel these and can tell what's in there. And so I think I know what's in here. And I think it's going to go with our theme. Unless it doesn't, of course. Let's see. Oh, yes. All right. First of all, I don't have any of these minifigures yet. So let's look at the flyer a little bit. Okay. These are the 12 minifigures in series 12. And there's some really funny ones in there. I really want this pig girl. And what else? Was there another one? I think the mermaid's pretty funny. And I also like the pizza delivery guy. But I think who we have today is Goth Girl. And I thought she'd be perfect for our spooky, spooky thing. Let's see. Oh, look, there's her bear. You can see that right away. All right. This doesn't look too hard to put together. We got the uh, body there. Go on the little pants. That's kind of a funny outfit. <laughs> And then there's her little head, little white face, and her hair. Well, her hair is one of the coolest little Lego mini pieces I've seen before. Let's see. Oh, she is so goth. Look at her. She just looks sad, angry, and lonely, doesn't she? Let's see. Oh, let me see. I, it came with this piece. So is that her skirt? Oh, she's got a skirt on. Now that's something I've never seen before. So a lot like the capes, I'm guessing it's going to go, I'm guessing I have no idea is what the case is, <laughs> truly. Is there instructions or are we to just figure it out? Okay, I guess I'm to just figure it out. Okay, I'm guessing one goes over there, one goes over there, and one goes over there. Okay. How did I start that one before I started one there? I wrapped it around, I turned the corner, I wrapped it over. I turned the corner again and wrapped it over. Okay. Okay, Lego people, maybe the skirts should be built on the plastic figures from now on. Or maybe I should just get it together, huh? Oh, you know what? It really is actually pretty cute. She has a little skirt on, don't you think? Or maybe it was worth all the aggravation. I don't know. She does look much better with a skirt on. She was kind of showing her panties before then. She comes with this little black plate. And let's see if her little creepy bear will fit on there with her. Oh, there she is. Super creepy. Going perfect with our theme. Okay, next, I found these. I don't know if anybody has seen these. I didn't even know they existed. It's a nightmare pack from Nightmare Before Christmas. It says dog tag and stickers. So let's open it up. I'm pretty excited about this. I love this film. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. That's a nice sticker. Look at that. Very cute. Let's have a look-see here. Oh, I guess these are all the stickers you can get. And then here's the dog tags you can get. All right, so we've got the dog Zero. I'm trying to think I just left my mind what the girl's name is. Is it Sally? I'm gonna say Sally. Oh, that's cute, Zero the dog. It's funny that we got a dog on our dog tag. Get it? <laughs> okay, funny, maybe not. Let me see. That's neat. So on this side it says, Nightmare Before Christmas, 0, 8 out of 24. 8 of 24. And it also has this really pretty finish on it. It feels very sturdy and pretty. Okay, I'm going to hang that one up right there, right over Monster High. Is it Sally? I think it's Sally. Okay. I found this unopened Monster High Happy Meal toy. And I really wanted one of these and never got one. So I was thrilled to find one of these. And it's a skullette. It's hard plastic. And when you, in the eyes are these words. Can you see that? It says, ugh, amazing. So you push the bow and it has funny sayings that come up. Ugh, amazing. What did that one say? Freaky fab. Scary licious. Let's bolt. Pretty cute. I like that. Okay. 
Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, oh, you know what? Before I get into the big toys, let's do this. I found a pack of the Panini photo cards of Monster High, and these are really hard to find. I found this one at the Dollar Tree. So that's good. There's 108 total that you can collect. And then this pack has six of them, and we don't know what they're gonna be. They're totally random. Oh, look. The first one is Frankie. Looks like she's writing in her journal. Let me just show you real quick what the back looks like. This is the back, and there's a number in the corner. This one's 34. Tells you what number you have. Oh, and we have Gulia and Abby and Draculaura. And Frankie again. That's a cute picture, kind of black and whitey. And Draculaura, looking fabulous. And Draculaura again. What's that from the Love It First Bite uh, set? Something like that. You know what did that have? Oh, it didn't have a uh, checklist like the Frozen cards have. That's a little bit of a bummer, but we'll live, I guess. All right, who do we have here? I found this at Target. It's a little Monster High Claudine Wolf scary cute Valentine's figures. Doesn't look like there's anything particularly Valentine'sy about her. I don't see a heart or anything, but she's cute. Let's open her. Oh, here on the back it shows the others. Draculaura. Is that Abby? Looks kind of weird. Oh no, that's Abby Laguna. Um, left my head, Frankie and Claudine. I was only lucky enough to find this one, so. We'll take what we can get, right? Be grateful for all the good toys we get to find. And there she is. Well, she is looking sassy. Look at her. Her little tiny skirt. I think her skirt could be a little bit longer. Her hair. And I love her boots. With the buckles on the side. Well, she is really cute. Cute. So we'll put her with Goth Curl over here for now. Until they get in our way. I've been really excited to open this up. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it Polyp. And this is Dormouse. And it's a little boy doll. And he has this little hat. It looks like with a mouse head on it. And it looks like he's in a costume because his hands are covered. And his feet are covered. It looks like there might be a little tail in there. But he is cute. And I love how this box is clear. But it looks kind of lacy. And most of the back is... In another language I do not read. Okay, let's open them up. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Oh, please come out. Don't give me a hard time, Dormouse. After the, all this time. Okay, thank you. All right. You can see him much better. All this purple background is really pretty. All right, let's cut him out of there, shall we? No. Be extra careful. I have had plenty of experiences where I accidentally cut my doll's hair <laughs> trying to release it from a package. Oh, look at that hat. That is really cute. Got a little plush mouse hat on it, and it does have an elastic, I'm guessing, for keeping it on him. Oh, he's got a double, double head tie. All right, I'm going to have to be extra careful here. All right, Mr. Dormouse. Do you not want to cut your beautiful hair off? Okay. Oh, it comes with a doll stand. I always like a good doll stand. Ugh. Well, he's about as hard as a Monster High doll to get out, it looks like. Wow. Well, we need some muscles for this guy. Alright, there's a little twisty. Well, he's got some funky hair. Look at that. And it's kind of, I thought it was black, but now that I really look at it, it has like a green, a black green tint to it. And he has these really stunning purple eyes. I don't know if you can see those. Yep, and he's in a little suit with his bow tie and his covered hands and feet and a little tail on the back. Let's see what his hat looks like. Oh, did I throw out his doll stand? I think I did. Oops. And there he is with the hat on. That is really cool and really creepy all at the same time. Right, I'm going to put him there for a second while I get out his doll stand. Because we cannot forget about that. Those are awesome. I use doll stands for all kinds of things. And I mix and match what dolls they go to all the time. 
You'd be surprised what you can do with a good doll stand here or there. So let's see, that looks like that goes in this base. It's a little purple star. And this one looks, oh, wow, very sophisticated. This one has, I don't know if you can see a little screw. So you can adjust it. Wow, I've never seen that. Don't be afraid to break something nice like that. Okay, let's see if we can get him on there. Without messing up his very handsome hair. There we have him. Oh, you know what else I was going to show you? I found a girl version of this doll at the Goodwill. I just thought she was really creepy cool. And again, she's got that like purple lavender eyes. I don't know if you can see. And this long goth dress. So now she can have a little boyfriend there. I'm really happy about that. Mwah. Hopefully they'll be very happy together. Okay, creepies. Let's see what our next creepo toy is. It is going to be Belinda the Zelf. She's kind of green, and she looks like she has almost like Bride of Frankenstein hair, but purple and black. She looks really cute. I've never um, opened a Zelf. Looks like there's these two little barrettes with hair on them in there. Um, oh, that's kind of spooky. Looks kind of monster high. Oh, Spelinda, the witch elf. Her bio is, she's Zardinia's perky little matchmaker, is always whipping up potions in the bird bath. Broom zooming through the garden, she'll put a love spell on your heart. And her Zelf power is love. Love struck baby XOXO. Her Fabitat is a witch brew bistro. And her birthday is Halloween Eve. Okay. I love that her um, power is love. I wish more people had. <laughs> Their power was love. The world would be a better place. All right. Let's open it. Let's see. Whoa. Easier than I thought. Okay, she's got a little brush, which I think is good with that poofy hair. And then, yeah, these look like little barrettes. Let's see if we can get them out of here. Whoa! Little tiny rubber bands. Oh, that's cute. It's a little kitty face. And then there's hair on it. I guess you can put it on there if you want to do streaks. Also, I don't know if you guys know these little clear rubber bands that come in a lot of doll packs. I save mine that don't get ripped or ruined. And then I use them when I need to, like, do one of my doll's hair again. It's really nice, professional-looking rubber band for doing doll hair. Because then you don't see the band. Oh, it's so funny I just said that. Because <laughs> here's some extra rubber bands that came in this little pack here. How funny. Oh, and they're kind of clear, but with pinkish-purplish hues or tones. Little Zelf. It tells you the same thing it said on the back collector's leaflet and then it has all of them from this series some of them look really cute all right and here she is all alone in this let's see how long it's going to take to get her out how is she really in there let's see okay, there's one. oh mama's elf She's fully encased in plastic now. Woo! I don't want to break her. Woohoo! Her hair's already poofing out. Wonder how she'd do in the uh, Frankie recharge chamber. All right. Funny I'm doing this, but I'm actually going to cut one of those pretty clear rubber bands. Because I kind of needed to to get her out. And I have a lot of them. I do save them, like I said. And I use them all the time. <gasps> I've never had a self. This is my very first self. Nice to meet you, Spelinda. Spelinda. She's a very pretty green, and her legs move. Looks like she could sit down. And her arms move. And I notice oh, her head moves, and she's got, like, little glitter ears and this amazing hair. Oh, my gosh, it's so soft. And she has a little Z on her butt. Cute. So I was thinking she might be a good pet for a Monster High doll, you know? It doesn't, they can have more than one pet. Why not have a little Zelf pet? Yeah, I think so. Let's put her over here. Maybe we'll put Dormouse over there, too. And Dormouse's new friend. I don't know if she's going to show up. but Okay, I guess we can go ahead and put some of these guys over there, too. How's that? All right. Okay, it is time for the Monster Highs. I am so excited. These are both new, and I'm very excited to get them. Here we have Amanita Nightshade, Bad Seed of the Corpse Flower. I have been waiting for her. I love getting all the new 
characters as they come out. Her killer style is she carefully, she has a carefully cultivated look that makes every other flower in the garden of style look like a weed by comparison. <laughs> and her pet, um, she has an adoring maggot that is direling as both pet and accessory. Does that mean she's wearing it somewhere? It's a pet and an accessory. Huh, that's kind of interesting and bizarre. Well, you see she's got this little flower notebook and looks like her diary is hiding back there. Can you see that? These new boxes are clear all the way around the sides and I'm not crazy about them. I like the old cardboard ones, but it's okay. Woo! There she is. Let's see how easy or hard this is going to be. Oh yeah, there's her, her notebook. Let's say that the Unlife and Times of Amanita Nightshade, Volume 56. Wow. Well, I will be excited to read all of that and see what it says. All right, and of course we've got our handy dandy doll stand. I love the doll stands because I do display all of mine, so I do need a stand. All right. All right, Amanita. This is what I do. I don't know if it's right or not, but I usually start with cutting these back things because you know how they always have them in their head? It's super hard to cut them. I, I feel like if I cut it on this side, I have less of a chance of accidentally cutting their beautiful hair, which I did to my Nathan, Nathan Rot doll, and that really bummed me out. So now I'm extra careful. All right, let's see. I think I see another one. Dupe. Dupe. All right, is she going to be free at all? Sometimes I go back and they're like almost out. No, of course not. Oh my gosh, her shoe things are insane. Look at that. Okay. Come on, Amanita. She's attached. All right, bruh. She's free. All right, I'm letting go of that. Although this is really pretty, how it has like kind of a greenhouse and this beautiful bloom that she's coming out of. I believe the corpse flower only blossoms like once every hundred years or thousand years or something crazy like that. So. That makes her extra special. Wow, look at that thing on her foot. It's a full-on vine. I'm sure Venus would really appreciate that. Oh, and her shoe. Look at her shoe. That is pretty fabulous. I think that's one of my favorite things about Monster High Dolls. They have the best shoes. And she's got this pretty skirt. Reminds me of a jellyfish with these things coming down. But they're like leaves. Oh, and she's got her iPhone, because we all need an iPhone now, right? Or her, oh, excuse me, eye coffin, I think they're called. There's her little purse. You can see it's got the impression of flowers on it, kind of. And my favorite is this beautiful purple hair that she has. She's got this big, pretty flower in her hair. She's party. Okay, so she has any jewelry on? She does have a little necklace, if you can see underneath all the, uh, all the lace and fluff and stuff. So let's put her in her stand so we can get to um, Rochelle and Garrett, who I've really been waiting for. Especially since they're a Toys R Us exclusive, and you can only get them there. Oh, she's just fabulous. Is she fabulous? Let's put this on her. She is fabulous. All right, I'm so sorry, Amanita. Oh my gosh, your hair. It's like silky, silky purple. It almost has these little pink strands going through it. Let's put her back over here with the other gang. You know what, real quick? I forgot this cute little notebook that Amanita came with. It has this beautiful flower on it. Kind of embossed. And it snaps open. <gasps> and there's a pretty picture of her. I wasn't expecting that. Cute. Okay, here they are, Garrett, Duroc, and Rochelle Goyle. Look at them, aren't they precious? All right, these guys are a Toys R Us exclusive, so I had to kind of wait a little bit for them to come out. 
I don't have a Toys R Us near me. I had to wait till they were available online, which they are now. So now I have one. Again, these are in this new box. It's kind of plasticky all over. And uh, I'm not that crazy about it, but what can I do? What does it say? Rochelle is going back to scare us. Relax, it's just for a visit where she'll get to hang out with her true love, Garrett Duroc. Although long-distance relationships can erode even the most rock-solid romance, there appear to be no cracks in the foundation of their affection for each other. For even a monster with a heart of stone cannot help but be in love while strolling through the city of frights. Say tellement romantique. I'm guessing that's it's so romantic, something like that. All right, let's open this puppy. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Fabulous. All right. What am I gonna do? Let's start. Whoa. Here's our little notebook. Oh, look at them. They are really a cute couple. What can I say? Garrett Duroc. Of course, he's got a picture of his lady on the front. Some snapshots of them and Scaris together. A quick, oh, his oh his monster parents a gargoyle and does it say he has a parrot or a pet? Is what makes me good. Uh, I think my pets are my roses. I feed them and talk to them. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's get these guys out of here, right? I don't want to get too cray cray. Don't want to rip anything or ruin anything. Let's see. I need a little bit bigger space here, I think. I have to readjust my uh, camera area here. I'm just getting started at this, so I'm learning with every video. Okay, there's her bag. Oh, isn't that cute? It's almost like a Grecian temple. Oh, it's really substantial, strong, cute. All right, and then the stands. It looks like we got a stand for her and him. Which I love. Especially those boy stands. They're really hard to come by. Okay, I don't see the boy clip. Oh, there it is. No, that's the girl clip. Am I missing something? All right, maybe we'll find it in a minute. Maybe he doesn't come with a clip? I don't know. What do I know? All right, let's... Don't want to cut his beautiful jacket. And I see they both have these head things on. This is an amazing set. I can just tell already. It really does take a lot to open these dolls. Oh, they're holding hands. I almost hate to undo that one. Rochelle is free. Let's just look at her beautiful face and her hair. How about that cotton candy hair? And her little flower headband hat. Oh, she's got those things in the back of her head. I better cut with care. Boop. Boop. Okay. And of course she's got wings. I like how her outfit is very similar to her signature outfit that she came with but it's just got a little bit more color in it. I guess because now she's in love. Wow, that's weird, she has this like plastic sleeve on. What's that all about? Oh, maybe so her arm didn't turn black with his arm on her. Sometimes these outfits do do that. I heard a lot of the um, Keith Burns, his hand turned color from his hot mitt. Okay, look at, she's got those fabulous shoes. Again, these are like the shoes she came with, but the original ones are pink and these are this beautiful powder blue, almost like a teal blue green. She's amazing, what can I say? Let's put her back there for now, and let's look at Garrett. All right, he has a very interesting face. He has these little speckles in here that almost look like marble. I guess that's what they're, they look like stone, since he's supposed to be a stone gargoyle like they have all over the cool old buildings in Paris. What's with all the Monster High do boy dolls having blue hair? They almost, or a lot of them have blue hair, like slow-mo and Invisibility and Garrett. <laughs> All right. Oh, it feels like his wings are just barely on, like they could snap off real easy. He's got this cool leather jacket on. And he's got a rose, a black rose, very reminiscent of uh, 
Who is it? Deuce's Dawn of the Dance Rose. That's what it reminds me of. And he's got this scarf. Very European. Oh, and his jacket's all the way sealed at the front. It's more like a leather shirt, almost. And it velcros. Oh, I see. He doesn't really have a shirt on under it. It's just attached to the vinyl jacket thing he, or he's wearing. I'm not going to cut his rose out of his hand. I like it in his hand. He's got jeans on, I'm guessing. Those are jeans. And he's got boots. Oh, look, they have a little skullet in the corner. Very cute. I just love the boy dolls. I guess since we don't get them as often as the girls, I'm always happy to see the boys. So there we have Rochelle and Garrett together, finally. I am so happy to have them. I guess maybe I should figure out, oh, is that? I still don't see the girl. Well, sometimes what I do is I just kind of put my the stick up the back and it holds, holds them up. You don't even have to do the clip. And then, oh, I see, I have this clip right here. Oh, I just misplaced it, but I'll do hers first. These gargoyle wings are tricky. I remember with my first Rochelle, they were always snapping off. Okay. Wow. So cute. All right, so what do we have? We have Rochelle. Come on, give us a look, Rochelle. Show us how fabulous you are. Her head doesn't seem to want to look down. That's kind of funny. Maybe that's the true gargoyle way. We've got Garrett, super handsome. We've got Amanita. And we have the little Pulip Dormouse guy. We've got his girlfriend, who I found at a thrift store. But she's still cute. Could be a sister, too, I guess, huh? We've got Zelf. Really loving the Zelf. The Zelf might be a good pet for uh, Rochelle and Garrett, huh? We've got Claudine. And we've got our Skelette. And we've got this little depressed girl. You know, I was actually looking. She kind of looks like her. They could be related. All right, guys. That is it for my scary toy buffet. All right. Bye for now.